What is going on guys, it's Aprox here and in this video I will be attempting to give you 5 tips that I think everyone should be aware of. But before we start, I just want you to gently squeeze the like button until its eyes pop out and maybe nudge that subscribe button as well. That is, if at any point during this video you feel like it's worth it. Every new day you log in, the first thing you do should be taking advantage of first mission reward bonus that doubles the amount of credits you receive by doing profit taker or any other high credit reward mission to stack your bread. Note that daily bonus does not work on credits you win from the index. There are many good frames that suit very different playstyles but please do not stick with one just because it lets you tank the entire star chart. I've been guilty of it especially in the early game and had I not switched around so much I would have never found my favorites like Wisp, Zaku or Ash. Also saying that you main something is absurd if you haven't played at least like 30 warframes because at this moment there are 32 primes and 45 non-primes in the game for a total of 77 and that is a big number. I know this is not really a tip but I think everyone should experience every warframe at least once to be able to pick their real favorite. Modding basics, elements, faction weaknesses, status chance and effects, achieving basic synergies between different mods and items are the core gameplay elements and the sooner you learn them the better your experience is going to be. For example, using healing return on your melee, before you attack you should prime enemies with status effects using something like Sido's Glaive or Kuvanukor to weaken them and increase the amount of healing you get from attacking those said enemies. Simply completing nodes in Steel Path gives you affinity towards your mastery rank. This can be a nice change for when you get tired of or run out of things to level up. One of many easy setups for this would be using Slow Nova with Exurges or any other hard hitting shotgun built for a specific element that is strong against relevant enemies. This is also a good way to practice your modding skills from the previous tip. There's no such thing as free platinum, you must either learn Warframe's economy to be able to take advantage of certain scenarios or world events, or be willing to spend time farming for it in forms of mods or prime parts. If you're relatively new, try looking into shrines and apotics for aura mods that sell for 10 to 20 platinum, and these missions can usually be done in under 10 minutes, or try earth sabotage missions for their hidden caches to get something like bite or maul that sell for around 100 platinum at a rank 10 out of 10. You should never use platinum to speed up crafting, instead focus on getting equipment slots, catalysts or exilus adapters. Also, when you're comfortable with your modding and equipment, try hunting Kuva Liches. This is probably the best way to consistently farm any decent amount of platinum in a form of ephemeras and Kuva weapons. To trade these, however, you'll need to have a specific trading room in your clan's dojo. And I see that I have failed spectacularly to fit all of this information into 60 seconds. But anyways guys, I hope you learned or got reminded of something with this video. Smash the like button, do the subscribe thing as well, and as always, this has been Aprox, thank you for your eyeballs, and I'll see you in the next one. This took me like 10 hours of procrastinating and 5 hours of actual production to complete. I should really get my shit together at some point.